The family of a teenager who drowned earlier this month in New Jersey is hoping to raise awareness and save lives. They're focusing on the dangers of teen challenges, which they believe is why the 17-year-old went into the water that day. CBS 2's Jessica Layton has more from Perth Amboy. A mother and father carefully placed red roses onto a wooden cross put up in memory of their 17-year-old son. My son had a heart of gold. John Vasquez lost his life in Perth Amboy's Raritan Bay on July 9th. And you bet you put on him on the table, he'd take it. The family says that day, friends challenged him to swim to that boat and back for 300 bucks. Loved ones believe his drowning was the result of the strong current and that dangerous dare. If someone can hear their story and their hurt and their heartache, we hope we could save one person. They created a group called John John's Angels with the hopes of helping kids cope with peer pressure while recognizing the consequences of all the teen challenges on social media. They also want to set up a scholarship fund for a teen with special needs. John had autism. His dream was to go to St. Peter's College like his siblings. Unfortunately, that was taken away, but we want to see if we can help another family in life be able to have their child be happy and reach their goals. Another goal of the family convinced the city to put up no swimming signs on the ledge where John jumped in. The closest one is on that pier about 50 yards away. I don't want to see another child pulled out the water and another family go through what we're going through. This is a picture of the sign they'll present to the city. One councilman told me while John is the first he knows to attempt to go into the water in this area, the incident is a wake-up call and he can't foresee any problems adding signs for safety. Can we please post something here? In memory of my son. It would be a small victory for this family who's already lost so much. In Perth Amboy, New Jersey, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.